Looking for that better that 0 2 record. Yeah, looking for that first victory. He comes to us with full some MMA. We got some 170 years in here now. Yep. Welterweight division is strong in Ultimate Reno Combat. And uh, Connor Vincent's been in uh, both his fights, I believe, were with us. And uh, unfortunately, his last one decision didn't go his way, but it was close. It was almost a split decision. Yeah. Yeah. So three rounds of experience that he's bringing to the cage tonight. His opponent fighting out of the red corner from Gardnerville, Nevada, making his mixed martial arts debut, Michael Grimes. Michael Grimes has made his way to the cage, debuting fighter out of Gardnerville, Nevada. Trains independent, been doing so for a year now. Uh, Making his debut at Welterweight, Welterweight division around here, as we said uh, a few moments ago when Connor came out. It's a thick, heavy division with uh, a lot of great fighters. and. Uh, these guys stack up pretty well, been training about the same amount of time. Yeah. And uh, both tall, kind of lanky, welterweights. Yeah, similar size fighters. You know, I'm really curious to see what we get out of these two. I, I really don't know what we're going to see when that bell rings. It'll be interesting. These guys, they, they, they got the cardio in welterweight, they got knockout power. It's kind of like the, it's a really well-rounded division for yeah. kind of everything. And uh, we've, uh, we have a vacant 170 belt right now. We do. So these guys want to come in here. Been saying it in the past two fights. Say it one more time. They need to make a statement make a tonight. Make a statement. And then take that next step. Now, uh, as we were kind of touched on, Connor coming to the, the cage for the third time. He's yeah. had some wars. He's a tough yeah. kid. Quick takedown attempt, and he's going to get it, and it's going to get it's going to get spun into a yeah. schoolyard headlock, which we know, thanks to Matt Hughes, you can be tapped from. You can. Connor goes for that takedown, and it looks like Michael, you know, he ends up getting the better of that scramble. Now he's, it's what he does with it. Yeah. And, and Connor looking to, to, to There's an turn arm to an arm bar. And it looks like he's tapping. It looks to, it's, it's deep. That's it. Connor has been in the win column. Yep. Finally. Yep. Proud of him. They love seeing him. He comes from a great yep. team. And uh, props to a Michael. He's in the yep. armbar for a while. Uh, referee Quim Winslow didn't see it right off the bat. Yeah, tough but, to uh, see that tap. Kim uh, on the wrong side of the action there happens. But uh, congratulations to Connor getting his win in the Ultimate Reno Combat Cage. And uh, hard to tell at this point, but Michael looks like he's going to be okay. Yeah. Looks like he's moving his arm. That's a nightmare scenario, man. You're tapping and the referee's on the wrong yeah, side. And, and no one's there to stop that situation. Corner, Connor Bisman. All right, Connor, congratulations. How's it feel getting win count? Finally, feels good. Woo! Adrenaline. Ooh, I'm pumped. Felt good, I don't know. Arm bar was deep, his arm popped. Didn't feel him tapping. I don't know. Thanks, Mike. Here, let's take a look at it. Hell, it's deep. His arm's popping right now. It's hella deep. Might have broken it. Yeah, I saw the tap there on the back of the leg. All right, congratulations. You got any shout outs? Uh, my coach, Jim West, Joe. All my training partners, Jesse Romero, Tanner Ford, everybody back in Folsom MMA. Thank you. My friends and family, Raquela, thank you for coming out. Hell yeah. All right, congratulations. Get your Blood Happens t shirt for being victorious.